What does root decay look like? These are some lower anterior teeth of an 87 year old. You can see the food particles there and the plaque and the black area there that's on the root of the tooth. And as the area has percolated or sat there, it has caused the uh, decay to occur. You notice the food particles that are on the other side and the generalized plaque. And it's not unusual for people with splinted teeth together like this to have difficulties keeping them clean. A water pick is really excellent for this, and uh, but a person needs to use it every day. This is a piece of cord that we're placing around the gum tissue to push the gum tissue back. You can see it in place there. And uh, the, uh, uh, in a minute, we'll remove the decay. In this particular case, uh, this older gentleman uh, was um, had this bridge done maybe six years ago. Um, the and he, he opted to um, try and save his loose lower teeth, and uh, that's why he splinted these together. And he's been very happy because he didn't want to have a denture. And now he dropped out of the site for a little bit and then came back in for recall and we found this decay. And one of the options would be to, um, and you can see a little bit of uh, uh, the active decay that's still present. And that, that's a fairly good size cavity. You'll see me remove a little bit more decay on the lingual area here uh, in just a minute. I'm using a very small uh, plastic instrument. This one's by Cosmodent. I really like it for getting in between. But it's very difficult to keep teeth clean when the roots are so close. And uh, um, the patient isn't able to floss, and so it's not a surprise. There's some more of the decay coming out. And when we place the filling in again, you're going to see that it's all together and it'll be almost impossible to floss that area. And the hope though is, is that we'll be able to maintain it for three to five years or so, or maybe a little bit longer. Uh, water pick would help. Uh, we've got the decay out now. We're placing the filling. This is a self, a dual cure, uh, a resin material, and uh, that allows us not to rely so much on the light. And then we come back and place uh, a little bit of helium molar, which is a smooth um, micro uh, fill to have it nice and clean. I'm just smoothing up the filling material. We'll go back and remove the cord in a few minutes. Another scenario if this was even larger would be possibly to take out the root of the tooth and then it would be uh, cleaner for the other areas. Um, and that might be an option if this continues to be recurrent decay for him. Uh, but our hope is, is that uh, this might be able to last him the rest of his life. So we'll see me remove the, the last vestiges of the cord or the string that around the teeth here. And we double check and make sure everything's in good shape. So in general, when someone has a splinted condition uh, around their teeth, uh, they need to be going into the dentist uh, at least every three months to get their teeth cleaned. Uh, they have to be uh, concerned about having uh, uh, a decay factor on the roots of their teeth because there is no enamel. And uh, um, they also need to be using a fluoride rinse. Uh, Proxibrushes help. And hopefully this filling will last for a little bit of time for him.